So today we would like to investigate the question, how real is photoreal? We know that iRay is a photoreal renderer and that it can render images of very good quality. However, um, how far goes the light simulation? So right now we're looking at the scene, so you have a few spheres here and a big uh, glass sphere over there. And I created a pinhole camera. So um, those of you who don't know how a pinhole camera works, it is like a simple camera model. I even placed a very simple glass lens that will take a picture of our scene and yeah, project it on the back face of our camera. Let's take a look at our camera. So um, as you can see, this is my very sophisticated camera model. Uh, we can see here is our little lens and yeah that's all that uh, needed to say uh, so I can now place my iRay camera inside directly in behind the lens of my pinhole camera and take a look what we see projected on the back wall of our camera and as you can see, I think I need to adjust um, the exposure a bit because it's much darker inside our camera. And yeah, well, you can already see. We got a picture, it's standing upside down and everything is really working. So I can go... Uh, here you see where I've just placed my camera. So this is the area that I'm viewing. So here's the projection. And yeah, I could still change, for example, uh, the materials here. And of course, we see this being updated, or I could change the illumination. Um, for example, I could rotate my environment image. And of course, we see, you know, like everything is taken into account. And as I pull back my camera, yeah, you see we're back in viewing our scene again. So yeah, you see the light simulation goes pretty far using um, iRay. And yeah, I hope you like this little demonstration of what you can do. I don't recommend uh, building cameras and using that. It's still better to use the iRay camera, but it's really a fun thing to try out for yourself.